I am Dr. Tanzin Jahan. I am working with pediatrics for four to five years. I have uh, completed my MBBS from Pulna Medical College and then this MRCP CH preparation was my first preparation towards post-graduation. We, the doctor's academy team, along with the admin and us, we are here to help you. We will accumulate the important thing, things towards you so that you can easily, if the, the study material will be ready. In our days when we were preparing, I was preparing, I never knew what is coming in the exam. I had to study 8 to 10 books. After appearing the exam, after completing the exam, I understood that these books I read, these, those were not important. Okay, those topics I read, those were not important. But here, in, from the Doctor's Academy platform, we are accumulating all those important things so that you don't need to find anything from anywhere else. You will get in your lecture notes, you will get a complete guideline, you will get the exact page number, exact guideline, what should be read, what should not be followed, what is what is updated this year, what is backdated, what should not be the answer, okay? So first of all, I would request all of you to at first think in which month you are going to appear. Part one exam is going to help in uh, three times every every year, February, June, and October. Okay. Now come to the exam procedure. It's a, a very good news for all of us, uh, also from the uh, also for the Bangladeshi because previously before the COVID situation, the theory exams will be where uh, computer based, but we had to go to centers. You, and, but unfortunately, in Bangladesh, there is no center. We had to go to India, in Kolkata, uh, Delhi, Chennai, and different cities to sit for the theory exams. Mm -hmm. So think about it. You are already paying a huge amount of money for the exam. Also, you have to go to Kolkata, Delhi for the travel expense and living expense. It was a huge burden for junior doctors like us. We all know the situation. But now, nowadays, since uh, after the COVID, they have started an uh, exam pattern that is called online exam. In your room, in your house, in your room, you can give that exam online. Their system is very good. I have appeared all my exams online in my this room. And their uh, instructions are very clear. There will be always one person online. If you have any issues, you can chat with them within the online. The time management was very good. And overall, I think it's a very good opportunity for us that we are now able to uh, sit for online exam. Till now, even if the COVID has stopped, till now they are continuing the in, in online exam. We don't know when they will stop it. So I would suggest my students to sit as soon as possible to engulf this facility. Okay, this benefit is huge, you know. Uh, you are sitting in the, in the house and in the morning, you know that at 2 p.m. is your exam. You don't need to hurry, you don't need to go any station. From your room uh, or with your laptop and one mobile. These two are these two devices are required only. With this, you can sit for the exam. This is a part one. About the part two, that is applied knowledge in pediatrics. That also comprises five hours of exam. Two and a half hours is the first part, and then uh, one and a half hours of break, and then the other part that you cannot take separately. But part one, you can divide and take separately, okay? But part two, you have to sit together. And in part two exam, that is also available in online. You can uh, give the exam online sitting in your room. So even after you complete these two parts, you have to sit for the clinical part, which is the final part. That is face to face with the patients. And uh, as Bangladesh does not have any uh, center, but nearest, nearby, we have center in India, we have center in Nepal. Okay, I am going to appear in Nepal very soon. Every, every year, uh, there is only one session for Nepal. And what I felt that there was a backlog before, like due, due to COVID, clinical exam were postponed for a few years. There was a lot of students who has just completed theory but could not appear in the clinical. I was one of the student of backlog. Okay, I have completed my theory parts in 2022, uh, in uh, last May, last year May. I am terribly waiting for these days to get my seat. Finally, I have got my seat in Nepal. And what I have seen that that backlog has stopped. The person who have completed uh, their theory exam this year, like 2023, May or January, they are going to see clinical this year also. So it's a very good opportunity, you know, 
uh, if I were I were able to sit for the clinical exam, I would have passed last year. I had to wait for one and a half year to get the seat. But now that backlog is not, not anymore. Uh, if someone in, in around you are waiting for MRCP, PACES exam, you know they are waiting for three years, four years just to sit for the exam. But MRCP CH, I can see now that back, that backlog has been stopped. If you complete the theory exam, in the next session, you will be able to sit for clinical exam. I'm going to appear in Nepal. After my exam, I, I, I will be able to share with you the clinical experiences. But what I have heard from my colleagues who have appeared in Nepal previously, Nepal is a very good center for passing and very near to Bangladesh. There is no visa issue, just you have to go and take part. And also the cases are different in Nepal and Bangladesh. The cases are common in Bangladesh, the same cases are uh, in Nepal also. So for our Bangladeshi students, Nepal will be a very good option and you don't need to wait. If within 2024, uh, you, uh, if you are able to complete the theory parts, in 2025, you will be able to sit for uh, MRCPCH clinical. So only within two years, you, you can complete your Royal College specialized examination for pediatrics. One thing I want to share about Amit, what I have heard in, in my preparation days that some people are saying that if you don't have two and a half years of experience or training in pediatrics, you cannot sit for clinical. It's a complete myth. You don't need any training, anything to sit for clinical exam. Actually, their exam pattern is like they're assessing your knowledge. Okay. The training part is their responsibility. If you complete MRCPCH in your country, the exam part, then after GMC, you will join their hospital as a pediatric register or below the register, like ST1 or ST2, whatever then it's their responsibility to train you before becoming a consultant. If you want to go to general pediatrics, you will have to uh, do the five years of training in UK. Then that time you will get to know everything. Just for appearing exam, you don't need to show any kind of experience. You don't need to have any kind of years of experience. Am I clear to you? So most of them will say, that no, I know before clinical, you will have to have two years of experience to, uh, you have to show the training certificates. No, it's completely wrong. You don't need to show anything. You just have to give uh, one reference uh, name from your senior colleague that, that can be your consultant, that can be your colleague, that can be your friend. Just they have to have the MRCPCH uh, degree. That's all. That is called a reference. That is not a training, okay? So if you are with Dr. Secretary, we are, we are always here to help you. So don't, don't worry about the references. We will provide that. But one thing to clear, you don't need to show any training certificate. You don't need to show any proof that work, you are working in, a, in pediatrics. You just have to study and appear and pass the exam. That is the requirement. Okay. So preparation related uh, about the books. The lecture notes uh, we are making now in Doctors Academy, accumulation of important topics from different books. Important things in your mind, I, uh, we, the Doctors Academy team will accumulate you those things that what you should read, what you should not read. Suppose the respiratory system, you have to read from the pediatric guideline. They have a guideline book that is written by uh, NHS. That book is kept in the uh, table of the doctor in UK. Whenever they get a patient, they, they can see the book and the treatment module, the step-by-step -step management referral, everything is written there. That book is very important for emergency CS, you know, until clinical, you have to know the pediatric guideline. As uh, already uh, the admin team mentioned that today was that pediatric guideline class. You will not find this class in the uh, syllabus. I have started, I, I want to uh, teach you that book separately, separate from the syllabus. This, these two were extra classes from you. If you have pediatric guideline and if you know from the, this book which parts are important, questions are coming from that book also. I, I am uh, I, I'm trying to show you those important parts, parts first. And whenever we will go through system by system classes, the lecture note I am preparing, I will put the respiratory system from three to four books, the important parts. So that you don't need to buy all four books. We, you don't need to search all four books, all four books that what should I study? So I think in that manner, Dr. Becker, Dr. Academy will help you a lot. About the time, time is actually very person specific. I cannot ensure that 
how much time you will need you have to decide how much time you will need if you are completely free you can give 3 months dedicated time without job without family responsibility 3 months will be enough if you think i have other responsibility i have to study little by little you will need 6 months okay but my suggestion is just study with the classes keep updated yourself and you keep studying with the course i will be available in the telegram group or in every class you will find me you can get back to me any time if you have any specific concern i will solve those that is not a problem but how much time you will need you will need to study you have to think about yourself your situation and your planning to sit for exam when you are going to sit in february in june or in october about that time period you have to divide yourself you want to do the exams separately or you want to keep sit for together okay if individually you have concern you can uh, knock me in the telegram i will tell, i will help you regarding that those okay for your preparation after every system class you will get our lecture in the doctor's academy e learning platform i know keeping concentration for 3 hours in online class is quite difficult the same class will be upload, uploaded in the e learning platform so try to study little by little every day suppose the respiratory system i am going to teach you for two weeks like this saturday and next saturday there will be two first saturday the topics are i i will teach you please within that we try to complete those things within that one week i i am not telling you to memorize just keep yourself be a course okay at any point if you have any problem any struggle i will be there for you or individual with you don't worry we will together make it happen as a uh, freshers i have uh, my only preparation is for mrcp stage i know the struggle will be i have never got any i have never did any coaching for fcp smd sometimes some people will tell you that uh, before uh, without having that pediatrics experience before having the fcp or md preparation it will be difficult yeah definitely it will be difficult but as i survive I know how easily you can survive. I will help you regarding this. Okay, okay. The resources, the main resources will be uh, the um, our lectureship. Along with this, there will be. Uh, I will suggest you two or three main books. Okay, why those main books? Because they have some. Royal College of Pediatrics is offering you an exam, right? They have published one book for every exam. so definitely those books will be our preference because you will see there is lots of question and those books directly we will memorize and we books very very with um, much importance and in my lecture classes i books uh, those books are for all system if i talk, teach you the respiratory system i will put the specific part from that book and i will teach you in the lecture sheet so that it will be easier for you to study a little bit i know this exam process the royal college exam process or the preparation is quite difficult than uh, the regular exams of our country but trust on us we will guide you so that it will be helpful for you and about uh, the exam fee uh, payment some of my students knock me in telegram about that i want to clear one thing that if you have any credit card in in your home country you can pay with that credit card just for that you have to call back to open uh, to open the card that you are going to pay more than 300 dollars okay just just this thing before the booking i will always be here to help you how you can um, proceed for the banking procedure and everything don't worry this payment is not that difficult okay and the books i i will go to the books if i tell you the book name it will be difficult for you i will give a printed copy or a Mm, specific name of those books for foundation of practice separately and theory and science separately if any one of you want to sit the exam separately let me know personally so that i can uh, help you that from one lecture note this part you should study for foundation of practice and this part is for theory and science okay